establish themselves as county title contenders. Brian Reed, Justin Algar, they've been to victory lane. William Byron, Cole Custer, Daniel Hemrick, those guys need to do the same. Hamlin trying to come back inside of Keselowski for second. 22 got awfully tight down in one and two. 20's got a run now. Brendan Gaughan was 12th, came down pit road, restarted 17th. He's got four fresh tires and making them work here. Oh, he goes high at him. He's going to lose some ground. Will there be contact? Missed the battle for fourth. Elliott Sadler inside of Paul Menard. Meanwhile, seven laps to go for William Byron out front. Austin, you've done that set out front with just a few laps to go. You've got to be so cool, especially a line-sensitive track like that. What is William Byron fighting, especially with a guy like Denny Hamlin on his bumper? Hamlin is second, almost a half a second behind race leader William Byron. All right, my man, set sail. That's a kid out there. He's nervous. <laughs> He's exactly right. When you're leading this race, you're just thinking, man, click these laps off, be as smooth as I can possibly be. Here's how it happened on the restart right of your screen. We talked about inexperience at the beginning of the race. This looked like veteran experience from William Byron. What a heck of a push he gave the 22. Set him up for a pass down the back stretch and gets a run to the lead. And he's not done. He gets to the inside of Kozlowski. And this is a choice Denny Hamlin, Hamlin has to make. Maybe he thinks the car that he could beat would be the 9. So instead of getting behind the 22, in behind the 9 gives him the push to the lead. Shoves him out front right here. And I think Denny's going, I'm going for the lead right here. He gets into turn 3 a little too hard and washes up the track. we got to spin here. Close break, close break. Caution is out. Caution is out. Oh, the same same instance here. Denny Denny said earlier it was right, he was out. If you can. Denny was not hoping for the caution. Now he, he's loving this caution here at the end. Sift was running 12th. I thought he might be stuck for a moment. Looks like he's going to get it out of the grass and back onto the pavement. Woo. I figured that was not going to be the last caution of the race. You called it. Austin Dillon was willing to bet us it wasn't going to be the last <laughs> caution, and it wasn't. A couple of rookies going at it here. What air looks like when wow. it pushes a car around. That's a great shot of it right there. <laughs> These cars are so uneasy when there's cars around them. It's just amazing how loose they get. Is that a little bit more than that? That angle looked like he hit it. He, he didn't. He we did. know that, but it looked like it. I bet you Matt Tiff thinks he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that air, I mean, it's so sensitive when you start pushing guys around. When your car is a little bit faster than the next guy, you can kind of just move them where you want to. The 21, he didn't mean to move them. It just air packed up right there, and the 19 lost it. William Byron might have been nervous out front under green. What's he going to be feeling on this restart? Let's hear from his crew chief. He was with Chris Neville. But yeah, his crew chief, Dave Ellen's looking pretty cool right now, but your driver out there, young driver with some of the best in the Cup Series all around him, how do you coach him to this finish? Well, I think he just does the same thing he did last time. That looked like a, a veteran move there on the restart. You know, I think he, got, he has one more of those in him and go out and lead a couple more laps and get a win. Thanks, Dave. Be three laps to go we come around this time. We could be knocking on the door of overtime here if we don't get this thing restarted real quick. Well, and I know that team is discussing right now, where do we go? But if you start on the outside, guess who's right behind you? Mm -hmm. Teammate. Teammate. That's good, huh? Yeah, that's a great break for that organization. Will William Byron pick the high groove and hopefully get to that big push from the experienced veteran, Elliot Sadler? And traditionally, Elliot is a very good pusher when it comes to down to the end of these restarts. And how about this restart, guys? We're going to have a couple of cup veterans and a couple of Xfinity regulars going at it. And I think they're going to be lined up nose to tail. Who will get the best? William Byron won seven times a year ago as a rookie in the Camping World Truck Series. How does that experience help in situations like this? Well, he knows he can win. You can always rely on that. You've done it before. You've made it to, to victory lane. But it's a whole other level now. You're in the Xfinity Series, and it's, it's, it's right there. Can I go get it? He's got to go make it happen right here. Three laps to go for the Xfinity Series. It's going to be a great finish today. More of the same here tomorrow. 
Monster Energy Series heads to Michigan International Speedway. Which driver will outlast the competition and take the checkered flag on the fastest track on the circuit? Find out tomorrow. Coverage starts at 2 p.m. Eastern on FS1. Going to be fun to watch NASCAR's best. We'll see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time on FS1. Going to get the restart here with two laps to go. William Byron in the outside lane looking for his first career victory. Well, we got the one behind us who's the best pusher in the world, so should be good. That's him for you motivated me or you? Both. <laughs> he sounds confident. Yeah. He has to love what he sees when he looks in his mirror. He knows he's going to get a push, but he also knows that when they get to turn one, Elliott Sadler will try to pass him as well. Two drivers picked up their first career victory at Michigan. Ryan Newman in 01 and Daniel Suarez last year who went on to get the championship. What about our driver's only broadcast last week from Pocono? We had a last lap pass. Kevin Harvick got to call it. Will that happen here again this week? It happened a year ago here. Can it happen again today? Outside lane to Byron, inside lane to Hamlin. Keselowski and Sadler on row two. Then it's Menard and Dillon, the teammates from Richard Childress Racing. Two laps away from career win number one. Let's see what this second row does. I really think it dictates the ending of this race. Contact. Big push from Brad, that inside lane for Denny Hamlin. The one is now connected to the nine. Nine is got it a gonna little be loose enough? there. William Byron chases down the hill. Huge rally in the outside lane. William Byron leading at Michigan. Handled like a pro. <laughs> and that was intense. Denny Hamlin was putting a little bit of pressure on Byron, bumping him a little bit, trying to throw the rookie off. It didn't work. Both he those guys in the second lane did a good job pushing, but the one actually caught his guy a little bit later down the track. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Hamlin's got to run, Adam. Can he get Byron loose? Right, here. Yes, track. he did. Coming off the of turn oh, two. And here comes Elliott Sadler. Two back to the top lane. Three a man down. dance for the lead. Still there inside quarter. Quarter, quarter, keep coming. Byron hanging on. Hamlin looking inside. Sadler's right there as well. Contest as they come off a of turn four. Back to the checker flag at the line. Denny Hamlin wins it by a nose. What a finish. Impressive finish. Thank you. Thank you, Ray.